Hey everybody, final thoughts. Time for Remember Our Trip. And folks, I gotta say, all I remember is it was great. It was a great trip. It was a fun trip, as is this game. And I apologize, that was a terrible segue, but it is definitely the truth. Uh, this is from a Japanese publisher, Sashi and Sashi, and they have been making a name for themselves over the last half decade for coming up with really interesting, offbeat, quirky games. And I've missed most of their stuff. I have played Let's Make a Bus Route, which Jen, I thought was a brilliant roll and write. Absolutely crackerjack fun stuff with a communal board. Uh, but that the player scaling for two player was just totally missing. That was kind of a bummer. But I don't see any issues with that. Remember our trip? I have played this as a two and a four player game and enjoyed it hugely both times. Uh, as a two player game, it's very, very strategic. You get a lot of opportunity because with only two players filling up the city, you can just really make more long term plans. You have a chance of pulling off. Although I have to say, I love these little... I mean, at first I thought they were bookmarks that came in the game, but they are actually a means by which you can tighten the board up. It's called an expert variant, but in all honesty, I would strongly recommend, even if it's your first time playing, play the two-player game with these because they really tighten the board up wonderfully and ensure that players are really going to be having to deal with, you know, conflicting memories, let's just say, and uh, trying to work their way around that, which is what makes this game so awesome. It's effectively... I guess, is it an area control game? Is it an area majority game? But it's shared. Um, you know, because once somebody actually locks their memories in and transfers it over, it affects everybody. It's an opportunity for everybody to match what has already been confirmed, or it's a noose around your neck if what you were building towards no longer fits the communal memory, and it's so brilliant. It's such a weird, quirky, offbeat thing, and, um, you know, we absolutely adored it. I, I will say, I think... I, if, I, if I were to play it at a higher lower player count with these, I would probably choose to play it as a two-player game first and foremost. But we had a great time playing it four-player as well. It's just a lot more raucous. It's a lot more, well, maybe this will work out, maybe it won't wear. And, you know, Jen and I found we just have a little bit more control. Um, you know, taking these away in a two-player game, I think, made it a little bit too wide open. And it started to have kind of the same vibe as uh, Bus Route which, as a two-player game, just wasn't tight enough. So I don't know if the developers ha are just getting better at two-player or not. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with their entire catalog, but I can actually confirm that Remember Our Trip is a keeper. This is one that is not going away. Jen and I are so happy we got that from the Board Game Geek store, and you folks can too. There's a link for it down in the show notes, and you will be supporting BoardGameGeek.com, the greatest website in the entire internet, um, if you pick this up. And yeah, if you are looking for something really offbeat... That um, you know, kind of has the vibe of area control without actually feeling too terribly mean spirited, um, and is just quite unlike anything you have ever played before. You really might want to check out Remember Our Trip, and that was the run through, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye bye.